Everybody's okay with that? Okay, so now what we're trying to figure out here, what this, like this line, what it actually says is x plus 2 times x plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we gotta plug in a number for x, right? And then we're gonna add two to it. So basically, we're gonna do a number times a number. These are both gonna come out to numbers, and we're gonna get zero. So if you think about this, like just think about it. If you're gonna multiply two numbers together and the answer is gonna be zero, what would one of the numbers have to be every time? Excellent. It has to, one of them has to be zero, right? Anything times zero is zero, but if you don't have a zero in there, it's not going to come out to zero. So basically, to answer this question, think about this, okay? What number could we add to negative, <laughs> whoops, what number could we add to two that would make that come out to zero, Excellent. Negative 2. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you how you get the answers. The answers are just the opposites of both of those numbers. Okay, so negative 2, that's going to be one of our solutions. Because if we plug negative 2 in here and here, then we would come out with 0 times 1, and that would be 0. It would work. Okay, so negative 2 is a solution because it makes this thing true. What would be the other one, though? What's the other? Because we have two x-intercepts all the time, two solutions. What would the other one be? Look at the other parenthesis. What would make the other parenthesis 0? What could we plug in here that would make that 0? Good, just the opposite of that one. So factoring is pretty much like the best way to solve these equations because all you have to do, you just have to factor it, okay? So we did that one step and then we're done. It's just, it's, the answers are always the opposite of the factors.